I'm a normal human wearing normal shoes, eating normal food, drinking normal booze. Got a normal car with some normal wheels. Listen to normal music, getting normal feels. See my normal girl in the back of my car. Oh, she's just normal resting, cause we driven so far. No need to take her pulse, you just sit right there. We're about to arrive at my normal lair. Hey, welcome to Hour 23. This is the level of energy that we have at Hour 23. I got more than that. I got more than that. I got more than that. Wow. Okay. <laughs> That's the only amount of energy I have, but I'm assuming everybody else has much more energy than that. <laughs> I'm Boots right here, your host Before for the everyone hour. everyone else. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, look at all the shell's energy. energy. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> Lemon's here. Carpet Frank West is here. Jimmy Franks is here. Kathor Jensen's here. And Montreth is here. Yeah. We got yeah, Shell yeah, Game yeah. on the art stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With a completely normal crab there. And we're mm-hmm. revisiting uh, one of my favorite <laughs> stupid websites. It's isitnormal.com. This document was provided to us by Boots Rain Gear with the help of Secret Gage 69. Both of those people are great. <laughs> I agree. I agree with yeah, that yeah. completely. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but before starting the content, there's two things. One, uh, we're trying to beat last year's total of uh, twenty one thousand four hundred and twenty dollars and sixty nine cents. I think. Yep. Yeah. Hey, Booth, what happens if we do beat that? Uh, if we do beat that, uh, Frank West is going to play uh, sometime next month on a Saturday, the mm-hmm. entirety, or until he collapses. Uh, of the game Ilum, which is uh, just c- complete mad balls insane. Yeah, uh, I really, and, I would really, really want to do that. So. Yeah, and I give him twenty bucks. <laughs> yeah. That's correct. <laughs> you, you, the power is now in your hands to make Boots give me twenty bucks. Yeah, if, you, if you can give another nine thousand dollars to the <laughs> of abortion funds, then I will give Frank twenty dollars. <laughs> and you, you will all briefly know what it feels like to be me and have the power to make boots give me 20 bucks whenever I want. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> um, I saw Frank play the the, uh, the demo of that game and it is absolutely bonkers. Yeah, it, <laughs> it is incomprehensible. Really and it, yeah, it, it, it cannot be good for you to play it for that long. Um, the other <laughs> thing we have is uh, uh, you'll notice uh, that, that that Achilles Heelys is not here this hour, but we do have a donation incentive yeah, uh, we that we're about yeah. to bring up. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. yeah. And so, for, so for $3, what you get is to offer a suggestion for a catchphrase that Achilles Heelys will have to use uh, from permanently from now on in every <laughs> single episode of the F Plus he is in. Yeah. <laughs> We will have uh, to yeah. use that catchphrase in every single episode he's involved, or any like F plus related audio recording that he's involved. And he can't just say it; it's not good enough for him to say it. Mm-hmm. He has to actually work it in. Yeah. And so, so what's going to happen uh, uh, next hour is that the uh, those of us uh, in that hour, so so Lemon, me, uh, Jack, Chick. Uh, Jimmy Franks, Nutshell, and Portax, who's the artist, are all going to pick one of those suggestions and champion it and put it to a vote uh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, during mm-hmm. the poll a poll for the last hour. And whichever one wins, uh, Healy's will uh, will have to say. <laughs> so only only three dollars you get to nominate a catchphrase that Healy's must must say every time he's involved in an F plus recording. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Three dollars and possibility of ruining someone's life. <laughs> yeah. So with all that out of the way, hey Montreth. Hello. Uh, the first item of the document, you got a question. Oh yes, I, I do have a question. <laughs> I, I am a very normal person on is it normal? And I have a question. It is why do ants love biting me in my balls and not somewhere else? <laughs> And they and they love it and they love it. The answer is. <laughs> I will say a, a lot of the things. A lot of things in the document are in the questions section and not actually. Is it normal polls? So we don't get a percentage of normal oh, on on some of them. But yeah, that's a bummer. Right. Anyway, long story short, I get up every night because there's this tiny black ants biting me in my balls. This wrinkly skin part. <laughs> The bite is so thin and sharp like a needle, so it makes me jump in the bed to get up to see what's happened. 
it and it's always a tiny black ant biting me in the balls. <laughs> the place of the, the place of the biting turns so red and gets swollen like a small ball. The, the small ball in my balls. <laughs> I have to kill those ants, of course, to stop them from biting and sucking my balls. My question is, why? Why is it always my balls and not anywhere else? When they can just bite my calves or under my arms or anywhere else. What they prefer about my balls? Tia. <laughs> Tom and Jerry after dark. Thanks, Tia. Can you tell if an ant is sucking your balls? <laughs> Have you tried these balls? They're great. They love it. <laughs> You gotta check out these balls. <laughs> uh, hey, Kathar, can you take the next one in the document, mm-hmm. please? Mm-hmm. Is it normal to refuse? This was 0% normal. Normal. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but don't let that pre uh, make you judgmental before I tell my tale. I've gotten emails from scientists and doctors just today from the National Institutes of Health and a doctor from the Netherlands. They are dying to test my DNA to see why I've never tested positive for COVID-19. Never had a positive (laughs) antibody test over three years and never have been vaccinated. (laughs) Screw them. I'm not going to let them use and abuse my body. I don't care if my DNA could save millions of lives from COVID-19 and possibly other future coronaviruses. The government and the system abused and traumatized me so much that I'm not going to let them do any tests. Also, I'm going to revoke my organ donor status. My body will be buried with all my fully functioning organs. So you're going to be buried alive. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Probably not that fully functioning. Organ <laughs> <Bringing on. laughs> The telltale and incredibly pissy heart. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, hey, Lemon. Uh, yeah, hang on. I was just oh, uh, nominating okay. a catchphrase. Okay, okay. now I'm, I'm all set. I'm all okay, set. I've heard, I've heard you're interested in taking these supplements. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. These uh, these supplements. Uh, supp- yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm interested in taking these supplements. Um, so this is 0% normal. That's interesting. Okay, so specifically nootropics, e.g. vinpocetine, and soon ginkgo. I hope Chemex Warehouse has ginkgo. <laughs> ginkgo helps with memory, learning, and focus, focus and reduces stress. Of course, you can't learn a thing from ginkgo. But what it does <laughs> is increase your ability to learn. Vince. Positine, I say, supports cognitive performance, but you can't get knowledge from just taking it. It just helps you acquire knowledge. <laughs> Three, Vinpositine. Is there a pill I can take that just puts the knowledge in my brain already? Or <laughs> <laughs> we're talking player. about the Matrix in the last hour. Ingestible <laughs> facts. <laughs> um. Uh, it also helps with blood flow to the brain. So these brainy supplements, known as nootropics, obviously are made from natural ingredients. But anything's natural as long as it's physical. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 He provides right? some, exi- some like, specific examples of that, maybe. <laughs> No, just wait. Like, okay, so a car is natural, and so is hair dye. By natural, I mean it's not made from artificial ingredients still it's synthetic the tablets don't look natural they look like harsh paracetamols small and white also i think they bleached it coq10 coq10 can't use yet because i'm 39 years i should be 40 and does anti-aging to your heart and helps with memories i prefer nootropics defined as improving or enhancing cognition not memory as such hence my next nootropic will be pqq meaning <laughs> meaning, <laughs> like you can get it underneath it. <laughs> meaning pyroloquinoline quinone. It helps with cognition. You can find these online. Is this normal? <laughs> and zero. It, zero. Yeah, no, it's not. Not, <laughs> not normal. Not. not normal. Not natural. Not organic. No. Nope. Uh, I got a. I got a question. 
okay. and then uh, Jimmy Franks is going to be older dude XX. <laughs> <laughs> So but I gotta ask my question first. Is that uh should I do LSD to boost creativity? <laughs> I kinda wanna try LSD. <laughs> <laughs> I kinda <laughs> <laughs> I kinda wanna try LSD. <laughs> Man, who would have thought these three dollar catchphrase nominations would be so much move up? I kind of want to try LSD just to boost my creative process. I'm older, dude. <laughs> XX, which means I I show bush, but not full penetration. <laughs> <laughs> my, my second best friend, friend in high school took LSD at about age 15 or 16 in the early 1970s uh, tripped out so bad that he was committed to the state mental hospital for life about five years he was still uh, there and his parents told me he'd have no recollection of me or anyone else this summer on vacation, I ran into a psychiatric nurse who worked at that hospital, and I told her the story and asked if he was still there, providing his name. She said he was no longer there, and that over the decades... He was the committed for life. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, he was no longer there. And uh, over the decades from the 1970s, they developed drugs that usually got LSD trip people out of the trip, but that they tended to have limited mental capabilities mm -hmm. and often remember nothing about their youth or friends. She said that he is probably in a mental patient halfway house. And two or three years prior to my friends trying LSD to teenagers in my town of 1900, I'm not sure if that's a year of population. <laughs> 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 They dropped dead in the emergency room. One was a friend of my older brother's. So please do not tell me how LSD helps with creativity. I personally know of three people that it destroyed the creativity they had and their futures. <laughs> oh. Amazing. Um, hey, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna read this one. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Uh, is it normal that I haven't done a poo in eight days? <laughs> <laughs> oh my yeah, God. yeah, 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 no problem. You're good, dude. Don't worry about it. No, it's apparently it's only 17% normal. Huh. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. <gamer. laughs> It's now been just over eight oh, days. Yeah. <laughs> it's been over eight days since I last did a poo. At first, uh, I thought this. Uh, at first, uh, I thought this was. Uh, <laughs> at first, I thought this was really impressive. It was pretty stoked. I told a bunch of my friends, and they were mostly really impressed. But one of my friends said it wasn't good to go so long without pooing, and that I am sick. I think she's just jealous. But now my tummy's starting to hurt, and it looks a little bigger. I'm probably just paranoid, though. <laughs> I love and, uh, it. Kathar, Extreme take one weird guy. I gotta say, I am. I have taken upon myself to try to type out all of the catchphrases, and I can't oh, keep boy. up. <laughs> this is quite a list. Reminds me of my methadone days. Oh, okay. Methadone makes heroin look like a cup of tea worst drug i've ever done you won't shit for weeks <laughs> thank you all so much for your advices i still have not done a poo i ate six meals yesterday and today tried to make gravity help the poo come out with more weight on top but no luck my tummy doesn't hurt anymore so i guess it's okay should i try methadone where do i buy methadone in london <laughs> <laughs> 17% normal. I, do, you, do you think you just go to a methadone shop and pick up the methadone from the methadone <laughs> store? No, you go to you go to chemist warehouse. Oh, okay, chemist warehouse. That's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Zarla, can you, methadone. Zarla, can you do the next house? one? Uh, you mean, is it normal it's to be spitting up gunk? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For 15 minutes after cleaning teeth.
Uh, Worcestershire, whether to put this in health or hygiene, may do both. Uh, for as long as I can remember, I've always found myself spitting up gunk after my oral hygiene routine. Uh, this is what mine... <laughs> God. <laughs> this is this is what mine consists of when I have time to do it properly. A water pick, physical floss, electric toothbrush on each quadrant, full two minutes on each if time is no object, one minutes on each quadrant if in a rush or especially tired, brush roof of mouth, inside of cheeks and inner lips with a soft toothbrush, tongue scraper, mouthwash, tongue scrape. Sometimes all I might manage is at least one at least a quick once over with a soft manual toothbrush, 30 seconds to a minute. It's extremely frustrating when I'm meant to be going out somewhere and I have to stop to find a sink to spit into constantly. It's my normal, so it seems, but how common a normal is it? Should I be concerned? That's not gunk. That's the flesh from your mouth that you're scraping <laughs> off. Zero oh, percent normal. You damn pumpkin. <laughs> hey, uh, hey, fr hey, Frank. That's me. Uh, read the next one, please. I... Is it more normal for my scrotum to be so irritated? <laughs> it's been on edge for Angry all the time. <laughs> He's anti keep... fighting it. <laughs> I keep trying to talk to it about stuff and it just, you know, snaps at me. <laughs> I, I actually wash every other day in winter. Sometimes every day, depending on what I've been doing that day. <laughs> Hygiene is actually anything but an issue. Still. Anything? Anything, anything but an issue. <laughs> Still, in the last week, I've only been able to pursue it sporadically. Pursue hygiene as a hobby. I have many hobbies, you know. I don't mean to brag, but I've bathed before. <laughs> uh, I had a lot of stress with old work colleagues. Uh, and was constantly busy. By stress, I mean violence. What? That escalated quickly. <laughs> Are you getting kicked in the balls? Getting beaten with soap in a, <laughs> in a sock. <laughs> I remember one day that something unbelievably terrible could have happened. Oh. It didn't happen, thankfully. Yay! End of story. <laughs> Yay. This is a roller coaster. <laughs> but I felt, oh, but I fell pretty hard with my ass into some chemi chemistry potash. Mm. Although nothing happened, I felt dirty and immediately afterwards I had a proper shower for the first time in a long time. Nevertheless, my scrotum is quite red, itches and burns, and I can't sit properly because it has also swollen up and hurts over the last two days. Yeah, it's, you know, if you've never had a shower before, your body has to get used to the idea of showering. <laughs> your body will reject the shower at first. Did he <laughs> fall into the potash without pants? Was he just <laughs> naked well, in chemistry funny lab? story, so, um... He jokified his balls. There's a lot of backstory here that I'm really interested in. <laughs> like, oh, really? This guy's hey, uh, worst place sounds pretty hey, wild. Yep. You you found a couple on your own. Uh, uh, pick one of the two and read it, please. Oh, okay. Um, hold on a second. I need to actually. Okay, I, I think I think this is one most open now. <laughs> it is. Um, is it normal for poop to coat your nutsack over time? <laughs> Over time, I like this candy. <laughs> if you don't, if you don't shower, does the poop from your from your butthole eventually make its way to your nutsack? I'm talking about the thin layer of poop on your skin, not the bigger chunks that you can see. I was sitting in my bed and smelled poop, touched my balls, and then smelled my fingers, and it smelled like shit. <laughs> this is I, this is this this is eleven percent normal. <laughs> yeah, I'm uh, I'm cliche yeah. one, two, three, four. <laughs> yeah, clean yourself with your fucking ass like a normal human being for fuck's sake. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> to be fair, this is this is a site for judging people on how normal they are. So it's true. <laughs> it's valid action, and also uh, Kathar, you found one. Is it normal that I find makeup to be nasty sometimes? Whenever I look at, and this is 66% normal, so obviously it is. <laughs> Whenever I look at a woman that wears makeup, especially lipstick, I feel kind of grossed out at the idea of kissing her, even if she were otherwise attractive. I don't know precisely why it is that this bothers me, but I think it might have something to do with the fact that makeup is kind of oily, 
And some products are made out of disposed foreskins. What? <laughs> it looks like it would rub off on you, in fact. <laughs> Great. <laughs> <laughs> That's, yep, 66% normal. <laughs> I guess that checks out. <laughs> hey, uh, I- I that. Yeah, yeah, We're yeah, gonna yeah. scroll down a little bit to yeah. uh is it normal? I am pissed. People don't recognize erotica as true art form. People don't oh my god. Oh my god, this this has gone too far. I have made so many sacrifices when moving back in with my parents after I gro- got dropped from my street perf IG street performance gig back in April due to <laughs> COVID. <laughs> COVID and scare quotes. But this is crossing the line for my mother and Dada. I have sacrificed my car insurance. I have sold my roster record collection. (laughs) And I have stopped it with my phone sex. Because, quote, colon, Quote, she sounds like a hyena in heat over the telly, boy. Actual fucking quote that my father ustered. Hey, Boots, you know what we need? Oh, an alternative? Yeah, we need an alternative uster. (laughs) (laughs) Joke for no Director security (laughs) falls. Am I not allowed? Am I not allowed to feed? (laughs) So I go and gave up these things for them because I already have to pay them in fucking monopoly money for their rent. (laughs) It's a sacrilege. (laughs) I hope I hope that that's what I do to my parents. I go use your rent anyway. Um. That they are imposing on me like the entitled wannabe landlords that they are. And I happen to have my Kindle open because I like to read it as it gives me education. And I'm (laughs) full of that as always. And my mom stumbles on by pretending like she didn't make her honeycomb hair nest hairdo. Shit, by the way. Three days ago, (laughs) she is pretending that she made it this morning, which is a lie. And looks into my personal Kindle. Personal (laughs) Kindle. Personal. (laughs) Here's the transgression too. And what does she see? She sees, of course, my copy of Eric Fillers transformed into a bimbo. Of course. And she says, and I am quout in here. (laughs) She says, she says, this is the shit. (laughs) But like, she doesn't say it in a bad derogatory way. Not good. She says, this is why I left your real father. This shit is like this. I bet he was the one that told you about this. She says, after I insist, this is not art. This is the shit. But like, she says it in a bad way. Now I am farming and so mad. I am so mad. I refuse and have art. (laughs) Plastered in my presence! (laughs) Erotica, for those who don't know, is true art! Nothing makes me feel like how erotica does! Pure untamed erotica. (laughs) Enjoying every minute. What does that mean? I don't know! (laughs) Okay, so point three here is a defense for erotica! Erotica's (laughs) art because of its appeal, not just to the heart, but also because... (laughs) of its appeal to the soul body. The body is my phallus, and I am never what? wrong to love that. That is why phone sex is not bad to die. Because of the arcane knowledge of how to read the erotica, I can still feel the words from my receptor of my phallus. I misspelled that. I can feel the cosmos flinging through my loins. And I am... <laughs> no, fling through your what? Fling through your what? The this cosmos... Is is oh now. no actually the cosmos are flinging through my lions <laughs> <laughs> and i am imbued with the magic that is art of all things but mom doesn't understand so many do not understand i am so sorry for taking the anger out here in my post i wrote this very quickly and i do not remember all that i said it was in a fugue state <laughs> so forget my grammar where there are mistakes i just I just needed someone to hear what I'm going through this COVID time. (laughs) And you've all been 
great to me so far. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> wow. That's, yeah. uh, that's powerful. Thank you. 60, uh, 60% normal, actually. 60% normal. Yeah, 60% normal. I'm an anonymous post author. Um, and uh, one weird guy, Kathor, one weird guy comes back in this one. So get ready. <laughs> Is it normal to get a boner when nerd gets glasses broken and fight? Whoa. <laughs> Ever see a fight where a nerd gets his glasses broken in pieces? Nerd cries, my glasses. I can't see without my glasses. Is it normal to have this fetish? <laughs> Got in a fight with this fat kid in middle school and broke his glasses. I felt bad. <laughs> Ooh, did, did you smash the glasses into his face or did the glasses fall off and break? Did the kid go blind? Did your parents pay for new glasses? <laughs> oh, well, I don't remember. I just remember being in the principal's office with him and the side thingy was broken on his glasses. Okay, that I'm gone forever now. That enough for you. Thirty-three percent normal. I, I got all I needed. <laughs> oh, hey, it's sleepy AI Bert. Oh yeah, that's a very good one. I believe I believe that prompt was uh, raccoon takes the trash, but he's very tired and just woke up, and also his balls are itchy, and I didn't like that last part, so I had to rewrite. It. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds right. Hey. uh... Hey, Zarla, can you read the next one in the document? Uh, is, okay. uh, is it normal for a nerd, comma, the stereotypical kind? Is it normal for a nerd, the stereotypical kind, to strangle with legs? <laughs> I've met several mm. nerds, all skinny mm. and clever, wearing glasses mm. like your local book club geeks, mm. who talk about killing their bullies by forcing their necks between their legs and slowly strangling them to death. Well, I found it uh, weird, I, I and apparently, as of recent years, this has been sort of become a stereotype. They <laughs> supposedly have larger, stronger thighs as well, but I'm not sure if that's all true. I'd like someone to clarify this. It is 24% normal. <laughs> <laughs> not expect the site to be as horny as it is. It's truly <laughs> the nerd thigh horrible. strangler strikes again. <laughs> uh, I will say, say uh, mining is it normal is uh, is half fun and uh, and half uh, just looking at screeds from far right people. Uh, site <laughs> fucking sucks. <laughs> is it normal that liberals? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. You, you need to stick in the that hygiene section. That's where the fun is. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's, you're correct. <laughs> that's that's half of this. It's true. Um, all right, a a a Frank West. Yes. Um, can you read the one that uh, has the word mini in it? <laughs> mini. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> is, it, is it normal to mini masturbate constantly? Hmm. <laughs> Have you heard of microdosing? <laughs> <laughs> Usually for me, after a longer cess of masturbating, I get stuck between the decision to flip over and go to sleep or to masturbate again. If I choose the second choice, I end up in a situation where I do it over and over again and it lasts like three seconds each time. I don't know much about this topic, so here I am. This goes to both females and males. <laughs> Where did they get the time to type it? Thank you. Uh, and Lemon, can you take a cr crocata one, I guess? Crocata? Crocata. It's the one. response to this. I am sorry. I was. Many. I was. I was looking at Albert. Uh, I'll okay, take yeah, it. No, I got a okay. guy, 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 guy. I'm a female. I tend to do this too. I have to make a decision to sleep or to masturbate again. I usually stop when the orgasms don't feel as good, and then I'll do it again when it refreshes first thing in the morning. <laughs> Gotta clear the cash. Yeah, you know, the little Sims uh, knee bar goes up. 63% <laughs> normal. I've just been maxi masturbating, and that requires me to block out like four hours of the calendar. <laughs> Cook a combo! <laughs> Uh, uh, Jimmy Franks. Yeah, uh, you've got a I don't know, it's an olfactory uh, concern. Oh man, is it uh, <clears throat> is it normal to love the smell of your own sweat? Love. I noticed about a year ago I was starting to really like the smell of my own sweat. I think other people sweating is gross; it smells terrible. But my own sweat smells absolutely intoxicating to me. 
It uh, smells a little bit like strong yogurt, and the smell gets better when I do something physical or exhilarating. Different times, my sweat smells differently. It depends on what I eat, how much I slept, and other things that I probably don't even know. I know it's something to do with the chemicals in my sweat. I, I always wonder if my sweat's just different to everyone else's, but I absolutely love it. Uh, and my name is uh, Fat Talk. I'm cuckoo for my own sweat. Yeah, a fat talk. <laughs> and I said, uh, I the smell of my GF sweaty armpits and pussy. <laughs> you sure do, buddy. And anybody take world, uh, world uh, oh, draw dust. That's me. That's me. Okay. I can't relate. My sweat smells and tastes like glue. <laughs> what? Why would your face grow sweat? Forty-two percent normal. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, I got to take this one. Uh, I get aroused when killing people in games. <gasps> oh, boy. Oh, yeah. right. There's this computer game where you can play as a murderer who has to hunt down and kill other players in the game. And during the time I play, I get highly aroused. Is- okay. Yeah, there's a lot of people daylight, who write right? Dead by Daylight. Por- yeah, it's yeah, Dead yeah. by Daylight. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's absolutely Dead by Daylight. <laughs> <laughs> Chasing the other players, hearing their screams when you get a hit on them sexually excites me. I get extremely into it to the point where my heart is literally racing. The experience makes me feel like it's not a game and I'm actually there hunting and chasing down the people. But I highly enjoy it still. You know, I get sexually aroused by uh, slowly holding the use button near a generator. So uh, <laughs> we should get together, man. <laughs> like, Hold it down, E. I get sexually excited by failing, uh, like, annoying really fast quick time events. <laughs> <laughs> man, what an erotic game this is. <laughs> I start to shake due to the excitement. My arms, hands twitch, and I often laugh when I kill or chase down one of the other players due to how good it feels. It's an extreme reaction. <laughs> <laughs> It's a sacrament. <laughs> it's like a surreal high that fills me with joy and happiness, which I know is twisted. Since I'm getting off to characters being hurt slash killed, I know they aren't real people, but during the moment, I imagine everything is real and actually happening. I'm hunting down those people and murdering them, cutting them open. The screams and blood it's excite me, and no one can stop me. I play other <laughs> games, but this is the one. Oh, hello. Gets me Welcome into my ear canal. <laughs> I sometimes think about if I get the same excitement and joy in killing someone in real life. I know a computer game is different from real life, but in the moment I'm so focused that nothing matters slash exists around me, and it's as if the game is real life, and I am chasing down and killing real people. When I'm in that state of mind, it just feels so good, I just get a huge dopamine hit. I was not yeah! joking. For writing this. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm playing a be, video game. Do you see? <laughs> I would be upset if it wasn't so obvious this was someone trying to be very edgy. Mm-hmm. Welcome yeah, to my yeah, dark yeah. mind. Yeah, I kind of expected <laughs> to be creeped out by you, but instead it's like, uh-huh. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> All right. Yep. My anyway, favorite right. character is the Joker. Anyway, thank you. That's 17% normal. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> to my twisted mind, that's it. <laughs> Oh, Shell likes our Shell likes our takes on Dead by Dawn. Just so you know, boots. <laughs> if there was like a Juggalo mod for Dead by Daylight, I'm not sure which side you would have to. It either Survivors or Killers. Honestly, it be <laughs> wait, wait, wait! Doesn't that game have running in it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, slow, slow down. <laughs> What's up? All right. Uh, so uh, uh, one weird guy is going to be back here. Uh, Dad, oh Dad in Scal is going to be Montreth, and uh, normal rebellious will be Zarla. Okay. So is it normal that I wish people could start dressing classy again? I wish people could go back to dressing classy again, like they did in the 1920s and 30s. I'd absolutely jump on that trend if it were to happen. What is the <laughs> <laughs> we may never know. Mm. Even during the Great Depression, the homeless people who lost everything would still make sure they had a nice, clean suit to wear. 
I wish we were still this badass in the West. Uh. <laughs> Leave the 20s and the 30s. People dressed classier in the 80s and the 90s. <laughs> I, oh, I always wore a dress shirt and tie to work. Now I'm retired and working part-time and everybody dresses like slobs, including <laughs> the CEO who's a millionaire. I still go in a sports shirt and slacks and people comment on how neat I look. Oh, I didn't consider the idea of having Healy's catchphrase be in, I'm guessing that's Finnish? It is unpronounceable. <laughs> <laughs> what an excellent idea. <laughs> it's normal rebellious. Yes, it's normal, but it's outmoded. People don't dress like that anymore. The 2010s is a classier time with posh Australians drinking brandy, all wearing the same black suits and slacks and eating the same foods, acting exactly the same. This was a time not of individuality, but conformity. Not everyone is different. Some people are identical. <laughs> Isn't that so true? Posh and Australian, so close together. That was when posh people were posh again, without the tastelessness or sleaziness. How do I compare? There's no difference between me and a brown tweed, a tweed cap, and an old man who, mind you, he dresses like that. The funny thing is obsession with pompous ornateness rather than little ornamentation. It's a wealth and value thing to which I'll try and be odd again if I had a million dollars. Great, I didn't understand any of that, but I definitely, <laughs> definitely uh, support you. I had a million right dollars, I pretty <laughs> much waste it. Hey, uh, Jim, Jimmy Franks, can you read the next one? Uh, yeah. Our British people. Our British people <laughs> from America. Oh, Jimmy Franks, can you lean into your mic? You're, you're getting quiet. Our, our British people from America. <laughs> Ooh, what's this? What's this character's Hello. name? Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, pip, pip. <laughs> I was just wondering because I think they were. I had an arg argument with my friend the other day. He said they are from Britain, uh, from Britain. I'm sorry. Uh, he said they are from Britain, but I think they are from America. I really don't understand the whole settlers thing. The whole settlers thing where some people came here this and some went there girl i'm gonna send your hole <laughs> colonizers and uh they took america's land and something something <laughs> uh, so, i guess i do think the british people are from america though so why do they hate americans for taking their own land and if it was their land to begin with because they lived in america and then moved right <laughs> Just went to the right. Into the Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> yeah. It moved right. <laughs> it's the... Uh... Yeah. <laughs> I have hopes someone very young wrote that. Oh, there's no rating for how normal it is. Yeah, it's because it wasn't a... Uh, it wasn't one of those. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, yeah, there's a question here called Light Pollution Isn't Real, which is kind of fun, but that the title... Kind of explains it all. Uh, I put this into four sections. We went, we went through normal science, uh, normal horniness, normal society, and then section four is just called uh oh. <laughs> um, and this is this this here is the one I found uh, that that made me start this doc. Uh, oh. Shut up, boots! Shut oh. shut the fuck up! Shut up! Shut up right now! Wow. Uh, I just got a, a message from a friend of mine uh, who chooses to be remain anonymous at this moment. Uh, but this person has told me that uh, for the next hour, all of your donations will be matched by mm -hmm. him or her. I don't know if I gendered earlier. But anyway. <laughs> uh, so so uh, anybody who donates from now until the end of this hour will be matched. Period. Point blank. He tried to put a limit on it. Fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> amazing yep 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 so uh so start putting in donations and we will get that donation matched uh by this anonymous donator <laughs> Ooh, that jump that room okay uh and so lemon can you could you please read uh the first uh, item in the section called uh-oh oh great yeah 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 absolutely Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Is it normal for my male friend to allow me to massage him? 
<laughs> I'm a yeah. guy. And, and so I have been friends with another guy for over 12 years. About 10 years ago, we became real close and became best friends. At that time, I was around 22 and he was around 29. So after we became close, we started to hang out daily. One day, we were matching a movie on his couch, oh. and I asked if he would like a massage, because he was complaining of pain. He said, sure. So, I would <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Yeah, we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> 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 hey, that interrupts the inbox. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> oh, my God. I guess the hour is just going to be this then. Wow! 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 Oh my god. <laughs> wow, wow. Bobby, wow. oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> That's it. Did we get that? Did we get that? Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Thanks, Jack. Wow. <laughs> Uh, most of those donations, most, uh, actually not most, because there was an anonymous $150 donation. Uh, Darth Bob in there again with a $91 donation. Uh, we got two more from uh, from, from from other folks. Uh, but the, the, the weight of that uh, was uh, Jack Chick's uh, $632 uh, with the comment, just glad the queen is dead. <laughs> <laughs> unfortunately the queen uh albert uh, didn't stay on very long <laughs> <laughs> no that's true here you know what that's 632 let me put that let me push it let me put the queen back in well yeah i got i should read actually. i'll do it yeah I'll do yeah it. <laughs> okay uh okay so oh shit well some uh, some funny thing happens some misunderstandings happen as the years progressed, uh, he let me start massaging his chest and then feet and legs and thighs. There was a couple incidents where I accidentally felt his dick each time. It was hard as a rock. One day, we got into a argument, um, and we stopped talking for a long time. One day, he reached out, and we apologized to each other and became, please stop highlighting things, best friends again. We started hanging out. Please stop highlighting things. <laughs> And he let me massage and play with his chest hair. He would also let me massage his uh, in legs and inner thighs. I would ask him all the time if he wants me to stop, and he would say, "Nah, it's okay." So recently, we were watching a movie, and I was wa and I was massaging him and play with his chest as I was massaging his thighs. It's, the, the, it's just it's never dawned on them. It's like it's it's just <laughs> never dawned on me that I want to fuck my friend. It's my rubbing buddy. <laughs> that can't be it. I'm just, I'm just rubbing this dude all the time, and I really like it. And so does my friend. Like both of us love it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Lemon spend is crying. <laughs> wow. Wow. Party. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. <laughs> alright, uh, a couple of... Alright, 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 get off the fucking soundboard, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, 
All right. All right. Wow. Wow. A uh, uh, couple couple ones here. Uh, Mr. Grimly Cycler, uh, match this pants grab. Uh, <laughs> a secret agent uh, says, Laura, mip some dollar cinnamon. <laughs> <laughs> <That's good. laughs> oh, there's a lot of very good ones here. <laughs> there's a lot of really good ones. Uh, uh, oh, fuck. <laughs> All right. All right. Stop, stop, stop with the soundboard. <laughs> this one just goes. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. So uh, while massaging his hands, I felt his dick and it was super hard. Then I asked him a question. How big was his dick? I feel like I should know at this point, but you know, whatever. <laughs> he replied by saying, why would you ask? that when you made you what made wait oh he said why would you ask that what made you ask that why are we on the what does that mean dad? i don't know stop it <laughs> <laughs> i told him i was curious and if he wanted to show me he said no ah, it's come on fucking die he said, no, it's to private. We are still talking, and he is planning to come over and watch a movie. Is it normal for him to let me play with his chest and his chest hairs and nipples and thighs and neck and so forth, by which I mean one, two, three, fourth? We both come from a very religious background, and he practices it heavily. What do you guys think? And this post was deleted. Oh. <laughs> Okay. It's, no. I think it's very normal, and what isn't normal is that you guys still haven't figured out that you still are hasn't. In a and, 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 <laughs> like, and it's, it's not even really like fair. it's not even like he at no point does he even give lip service to it. It's just like it never even like it literally never occurred to either of them <laughs> that it's possible <laughs> that they're gay. I would like to congratulate them on their future wedding. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Very nice. <laughs> Um, I guess we got time for one more short one. Great. So, uh, Zarla, mm -hmm. sorry, yes. I think help with flag is kind of brilliant. Is that where we're? Yeah, at? Uh, yeah. I like help. <laughs> I like help with flag. Why don't you, Why don't you uh, lead that one off, Kathar? I own a piece of property near a highway, and I'm thinking of putting up a controversial flag. But I would like to booby trap it with electricity in <laughs> case someone tries to steal it. Would this be hard to do? Or is it simple? And Montreth, could you take the response? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Good job, Montreth. Good rating. Good rating. Thank you. <laughs> Ma'am, that's just pathetic. Can't you see a Holy shit. <laughs> 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 oh my god. All right, well, that's a $420 donation from Kumquasa. <laughs> Some knocks will occur. Uh, anyway, uh, man, that's just pathetic. Can't you seek attention from other people in a different way? You might see. <laughs> no. Like, Reminds of that edgy kid in class who would openly <laughs> talk about 9-11 and Hitler just to get attention. <laughs> and then uh, attention Kate by Hart. having a flag near a highway. I don't live on the property. I would just like to put the flag there without worrying about criminals taking my property. I would love to give them a good shock as well. Good. What, <laughs> what, is, what does a flag booby trap look like? Like, what is that? Do you sew in barbed wire? Is it like electrical shock? Like, what's going on there? 38% normal. The flag says, touch this flag if you want to come. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Don't pee on the flag. <laughs> Oh, oh. All right. Uh, what normal things did we learn this hour? Mm. Uh, I learned Surprising that Lemon's has some regrets. <laughs> Surprisingly, many people are okay with booby trapping a flag. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. Like, it's a controversial flag. <laughs> I learned that people are bad at hygiene. Adult people. <laughs> 
You said there's a whole section. There's a whole hygiene section of. Oh, yeah. Yes. Okay. There's a hygiene yeah. section, and it's it's all it's all great. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a lot of a lot of poo stuff in there. Eleven yeah. percent of people are walking around with poo on their balls right now. Yeah. Among <laughs> us. Yeah. Apparently, that's that's actually much more noble than you thought it was. <laughs> um. All right. We got statistically one. Statistically, one of us has poo balls right now. <laughs> 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 um, <laughs> thank you um we got uh our last hour coming up with lemon boots rain gear achilles Heelys, jack chick jimmy frank's nutshell and the art of portex thank you shell game for uh providing the art during this uh very uh well uh oiled machine of an yeah, hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how you say this words. Is, this is I what efficiency looks guy. like. Yeah, yeah. This is, this is perfect F plus efficiency. G- goodbye. Goodbye.